Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge Tales of Arise. Wir haben das letzte Mal ja dieses Monster besiegt, welches welches hier ähm, die Astralenergie aus Dana rausgesaugt hat. Und ja, irgendwie haben sich dadurch quasi nur noch mehr Fragen aufgestellt. Aufgetan meine ich natürlich, nicht aufgestellt. Aber hey. Ist halt so. Okay. Hm. Sehr schön. Gut. Have to take this winding path all the way back down too? Yeah, but if anything, it should be easier than the climb up. Really? Well then, actually, I've heard it's easier to develop muscle aches when going down. Seriously? Everything all right? <laughs> you kind of looked like you wanted to get something off your chest. Uh-huh. Oh, um... Or not, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know... Yeah? Sorry, never mind. Just forget it. Oh man. You want to try being a little less cryptic maybe? <laughs> oh, who is? All right, all right. Jeez, sorry for taking an interest. Stop it. It's okay, Hoodle. Sorry. I guess I still don't really know how to put it into words. Nah, that's fine. No rush. It might help you to talk about it though. I'll keep that in mind. And thanks. Oh, who is? Gut, das heißt, wir müssen jetzt einfach den ganzen Weg nochmal wieder zurück. Oh ne. Und direkt in den nächsten Fight. Das Schöne ist, sobald ich aus dem Wedge raus bin, sollte ich zumindest von den Materialien, die ich habe, gut genug sein, um ein bisschen meine Ausrüstung aufzubessern. Die Frage ist nur, ob ich das Geld dafür habe. Okay, das sollte dann doch hoffentlich dafür sorgen, dass ich den kann relativ gut wenden kann jetzt. Okay, immer noch nicht. So, das sollte jetzt reichen, dass ich beide hintereinander besiegen kann. Weapons. 
Ui. Gut, dann nehme ich euch auch nochmal mit. Ich komm... Fuck, ich bin gerade nicht sehr dumm, wie ich gedacht habe. Könnte ich mich nicht auch einfach runter teleportieren? Also über die Schnellreise? Egal. Okay. Windwill und Law sind sogar fast schon Level 42. Sehr schön. Oh. Das hat sich doch mal gelohnt. Ähm. Okay. Okay, da war kurz die Überforderung, weil ich hatte auch ein Stammbild. Also irgendwie... Ich hab gerade so ein bisschen Sorgen. Die Frames droppen gerade ziemlich hart teilweise. Dazwischendurch waren echt harte Frame Drops drin. Windwell 42, Kisara ist bald... Windwell und Lawson beide Stufe 42, Kisara ist bald Stufe... mal wirklich kann ich mich nicht einfach runter teleporten okay fast habe ist deactivated okay wäre ja auch zu einfach gewesen äh, skill panel 380 hm. bringt mir gerade nicht so viel 1000 äh, 1440 brauche ich bei dir. Mit dir gehe ich als nächstes erstmal auf Easier Member Over Party Member Over Limit. Und danach wahrscheinlich auch Guard Vengeance. Es wäre es ist nicht, es wär natürlich sehr schön, wenn ich. Wenn ich Runwell auch relativ gut in den Overlimit reinbekommen würde. Und dafür kann ich. Also das kann ich mit dem Easy Party Member Overlay mitmachen. Okay, gleich ist Kisawa Stufe. 41, genau wie Dohlem dann auch. Ich finde es ja interessant, dass, dass äh, Rinwell und Dings, ähm... Oh, fuck it. Dass Rinwell und, ähm... 
Lor so schnell leveln. Okay, das ist schon mal sehr gut. Aber es ist schon gut. Es ist schon cool zu sehen, wie viel schneller ich jetzt schon bin im Kampf gegen die als noch der erste Fight gegen die Fischer. Einfach schon aufgrund des Levelunterschiedes. Aber ich nehme jetzt auch nicht jeden Kampf mit, den ich nicht vermeiden kann. Also den ich vermeiden kann. Der... Ah, 41, 41. Sehr schön. Oder kann ich hier... Ne, da kann ich nicht abkürzen. Verdammt, das heißt, ich muss hier rum. Aber wenn ich die Kämpfe vermeiden kann, dann weiche ich jetzt auch einfach... Dann weiche ich jetzt auch einfach aus, weil... Komm, weg damit. Okay. Okay. Uhu, wir können jetzt den Teleporter benutzen. Uh. 
Okay. Dann gehen wir raus und dann sollten wir doch eigentlich... Hat es aufgehört? Also es ist zumindest schwächer geworden. It looks like that beam of light has stopped. Then is it safe to say we've avoided oblivion for the time being? <laughs> I can still sense a faint glimmer of energy though. It hasn't completely dispersed. You can tell? Rinwell, your senses seem a lot sharper than before, don't they? <laughs> And you said you heard that voice, right? I guess, maybe. I don't know. I don't feel bad though. If trace amounts, however small, do remain, then it leaves us no choice. We must destroy the entire structure. What do you suggest? We bring it down piece by piece? <laughs> Once that's done, what do we do then? <sighs> we go to Lenigus. Oh! Even if we could destroy the whole wedge like he suggested, It would only buy us time. The fact they sent this thing down tells me they're not giving up this planet without a fight. There's also the matter of the Renis Alma. Its circumstances still have yet to be truly resolved. But how do we even get to Lenigus? Ja, das ist so die Sache. What if we hotwire one of their starships? There's gotta be one on the planet somewhere, right? Starships are only seen on Dana at the start and end of the Crown Contest. Otherwise, they remain on Lenigus. Believe it or not, we Renans down here aren't quite as free to come and go as one might think. <lacht> Great. Well, I'm out of ideas then. We definitely don't have the tech to build a starship. And even if we found a Renan who'd help, who knows how long that'd take. Yeah. Waiting for a starship to come down from Lenigus would probably be quicker than that. Wait! Alfin, when you came down from Lenigus, it had to have been in a starship of your own, right? Right. Oh, of course. You can't be serious. That was 300 years ago. There's no way it's still gonna work. But Alfin didn't wake up until a few years ago. That means it had to have still been functioning that whole time to keep his body preserved. Indeed. Yep. You wouldn't happen to remember where you landed, would you? <laughs> My memories around where I parked are still a little hazy, but I do know that I woke up in Calaglia. <laughs> so chances are it's good. still in the area. At least it's a place to start. Luckily, that realm's my old stomping ground, so I should be able to get us some help finding her. <sighs> This is it. Yeah. As long as Lenigus stands there, there's no avoiding it. So what's this help in Calaglia you're planning to enlist? My buddy Nath. <laughs> If anyone there knows something, I figure it's him. But first, we need to catch a boat and get back to the mainland. Yup. Uh, nope, that's not what I machen wollte. I wanted... Um, 400. 1000 an. Ja, fehlt noch. 830. Hm, reicht auch noch nicht. Für keins der beiden. Ich würde mir 30, 20 Attack geben. 50 Defense. Also ich denke, ich sollte tatsächlich als allererstes hier rauf gehen. Ja, gut. Dann setze ich hier jetzt mal den Cut. So, geht weiter. Dann dürfte die Folge auch noch nicht zu groß sein. Und weil... Our first port of call is Ulzebeck. Back where you first started out. Yeah, along with my dad. <sighs> What's up, Shion? You okay? 
You don't look so good. Uh, I think I'm just a little seasick. That's all. <lacht> du bist nicht Kisara, also. Das, das kaufe ich dir nicht ab. You heard me. You've never been good at hiding your emotions, Shion. <lacht> Excuse me? Just what do you. <lacht> no. You're right. I'm sorry. <lacht> Is it about Alfin? <lacht> no, not just him. Something you can't talk about? Oh. When well, I'm I'm not like the rest of you. Of course you are. <lacht> no, I'm serious. Back when we first met, I think maybe then I did think we were different. But now I know that isn't true. You and I are the same, Shion. We're alike in more ways than you know. <lacht> <lacht> If any of us is different, it's me. I'm a Danon who can use magic. I may be the last. My family and I have been living in hiding as long as I can remember. Everyone has their own pain that can be hard for other people to understand. I saw the two of you talking and thought you could use a third wheel. <laughs> so, here I am. <laughs> Sorry. If anyone's the odd one out here, it's me. Believe me, you don't want to listen to my problems. Want me to go? <laughs> oh. I didn't say that. It's cute. I get that you must have a lot circling around that head of yours. And that's okay. Whatever's worrying you right now, you're allowed to worry about it. And you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I know I'm not a Renin like you, or a mage like Rinwell. I'm not a sovereign, maiden, or lord. I'm just a Danon who used to be a slave. Oh. But regardless of all that, I'm here for you, Xion. That goes for me too. We all want to be there for you. Me and Hoodle and even the boys. I promise. Oh, it's adorable. I mean, that is what friends are supposed to do, right? <laughs> I said this to Alfin and now I'll say it to you. You're not alone in this. Oh. Thank you. Renwell. Kisara. And right on cue, I think I should make my way back and lie down for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> my battle with this ship continues. <laughs> yeah, I better head back too. We wouldn't want the guys thinking they're in charge. <laughs> Can you imagine Law at the helm? Who knows what kind of trouble we'd get into. <laughs> Oh Mann, ist das geil. Still. If that's true, then it's all the more reason I have to do this. Okay. Was auch immer das jetzt bedeuten mag. I think it's safe to rest here now. Oh. Okay, was ist jetzt hier für ein Sketch? All right. Something is definitely up with Shion. In dem Fall wahrscheinlich yeah. was anderes. Something big by the looks of it. I've never seen her so serious. Es geht um Essen, oder? So, do you think we should say something to Alfin then? I was wondering the same thing myself. But then it occurred to me. Hm? Whatever this thing on her mind is, it's probably the last thing in the world she wants people to know about. <sighs> If she's trying this hard to keep it secret, then it's not really our place to go telling people before she's ready. Yeah. I can't tell them. There's... There's just no way I could, right? I... 
What am I supposed to do? Sie ist hungrig. Oder? Ah. Ich habe jetzt irgendwie was Bescheuerteres erwartet, um ehrlich zu sein, aber hey. Ah. Gut. Dann. Okay, Pelichen gibt eine neue Quest. Die sammle ich da mal ein. Always good to be back in familiar territory. Hi ho, what's oh? <laughs> Tisa, hey there, I've nice to see you. Tisa, did you come here from the table? Mm. I sure did. I would it sounds like these people have mm -hmm. we can believe it, they might be physically free, but a lot of them still have a long way to go mentally. So it seems I actually have some knowledge about treating mental health issues. So I'm going to try and help them and think independently while I'm here. Thank you. Mm. Simply by sitting down and talking with them one on one. Asking questions, seeing how they respond and consoling them. That makes sense. I wish we had time and ability. Hmm? Stop feeling like you are, have to show them everything yourself. I think you will burn. You know what? Maybe you won't for a session. What do you say? What? what I, <laughs> no need to be good. <laughs> you just want to go how you're doing mentally right. Uh, all right, right. Great. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to answer this question for me. But don't you don't think too deeply, just go with your guts. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite type of astral energy? Okay, how, how do you like to fight? Close, close quarter. That's the most important thing to you in life. Uh, yes, that's the worst thing. Break it down. You are in really the place in you. <laughs> you can deeply about your friends and have strong convictions. You try to overcome any obstacles you met, but it might do you good to look around and be more in how you think from time to time. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he had cash given and points. Also. Get an examination. Um. Well, if you say so. Let me see. Uh. Ye yes, you're in well, all right. Well, if only your brain could keep up with your mouth. Ehrlich. No, I'm a fast travel to win. So. So, gold chunk, mm hmm Sechs Stück. Drei. Die behalte ich dann mal so, wie es ist. Gut. Life Bottle, eine. So, ähm, wo ist... Da. No, um die Machete Carrot möchte ich nicht. Oh, Atomic Edge. Supreme Ground Thing ist natürlich nicht schlecht, aber ich gehe mit Atonement Edge. Ja. Lemstone braucht er dafür. Deshalb gehe ich dann erstmal hier mit. Oh. Oh, fuck it. Ich habe kein Cash mehr. Ähm. Dabei hätte ich noch... Verdammt! Increase normal attack limit, mhm. Mm das ist eigentlich ziemlich gut hier, die Dinger. Trotzdem 
Kommt als nächstes Vacuum Blade dran. Äh. Ich schaue mal, ob ich... Ich schaue mal, mal, ob ich in der Bücherei abgeben kann. Wegen weiteren Büchern. Vielleicht soll ich auch mal schauen, dass ich vielleicht ein paar Sachen verkaufen kann. Um halt äh, für... Für Kisara weiter abzugraden. Das dürfte, denke ich, nicht so schlecht für mich sein. Neues Buch? Scheint so. Okay, doch nicht. Schade. Ich gehe mal zu den Training Grounds. So, mal schauen. Advance kann ich machen. Äh, Recommended Level ist 40, okay. Vielleicht soll ich das doch noch nicht machen. Es ist natürlich... Oh, Diamond West. Hm. Mehr Sinker. Hammonds Feinskull. Ich weiß nicht, was Hammonds Feinskull ist. Okay. Nur Wietz hinter mir. Noble Ezra. Luna Inherited Code. 50. Silver Duck Tech. Spirit Slaying. Shogun Staff. Seeside Skatte, okay. Ich bin gerade am überlegen, dass ich tatsächlich... ...dass ich mit dem Small Cash Price gehe. Das sollte ja relativ gut dann wegzumachen sein und... Ich weiß gar nicht, kriege ich dafür eigentlich Erfahrungspunkte? Wäre eigentlich schön, wenn... <lacht> oh. Das ging relativ gut. Hm. Nur Witz. Ja, komm, mach ich auch nochmal. Danach kaufe ich ein. Okay. 
Komm, weg mit dir. Also ich denke, drei Minuten sollte ich schaffen mit. Dafür bin ich. Okay. Zwei Polymeter. Ach du Scheiße. Okay, die könnten mir doch vielleicht nicht die Zeit. Problem. Okay, vielleicht auch nicht. So, weg damit. Um. Gut, das heißt, das zweite sollte eigentlich auch schon. Fuck. Hab gedacht. Hab Okay. Da wird sie dann da auch noch reichen. Komm, weg damit. Irgendwie habe ich zu die Befürchtung, dass das potenziell mit den drei Minuten doch nicht funktioniert. Okay, I'm gonna Ja, habe ich mir doch gedacht. Hm. Da muss ich dann wohl, wenn ich stärker bin, nochmal ran. Aber naja, Elixier ist nicht so wichtig. Ja, da, 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 da. Ich wollte jetzt... Also back innen gehe ich zuerst. Always good to be back in familiar territory. So, Cell, Doctag, Jupp. Äh, Materials. Was für Dinger habe ich hier, die ich ohne Probleme verkaufen kann? Okay, das sieht doch schon mal ganz gut aus für mich, zum Verkaufen. Hm. 
Ansonsten hier irgendwas. E. Hm. Da bin ich gerade nicht so begeistert. Ich hatte eigentlich gehofft, dass ich mehr verkaufen kann. Ich setze ich da mal auf 6 noch hoch. Ich auch noch mal... Nicht so ganz optimal, wie ich es gerne gehabt hätte. Aber na gut, ist halt so. Craft Open. Flamestone. Den kann ich mir nicht leisten. Äh, beziehungsweise den darf... Ich habe kein Granit Fragment, das heißt, ich mache erstmal den hier. Und danach den. Und jetzt habe ich auch kein Geld mehr. Das heißt, die Dinger kann ich mir auch nicht craften. Aber naja, Fairway muss man sagen, die sind auch für mich weniger wichtig. So. Ah, Calaglia. Feels like it's been ages. And wasn't Zephyr with us too? Damn. Okay, Libra, Calaglia. Everyone around here looks so much happier than they used to. I'll say. Feels like an entirely different place. I suppose it's had time to adjust to its newfound freedom. Zephyr would have been so happy to see this. Yeah, he really would have. Especially if he knew Law was. Law? <laughs> Something bothering you, Law? Nah, I. I'll be fine. It's just. you know. <laughs> it still weighs on you, doesn't it? Running away back then. I abandoned my home. Then when I finally come back, it's been liberated. What's important is that it's free. I get that, I do. I just... Uh, I should have been here. <laughs> Good, hi. I hope the party crushers are there. Oh, just one thing after another, and it all falls on my head to... Hey, Nath. What? Can't you see I'm... Alfin? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you have your hands full. As much as ever. As if I wasn't busy enough putting down the last remnants of Ren and Rule, I'm up to my ears and Dan in disputes. <laughs> and then, to top it all off, that thing had to come crashing down from out of the sky. Pretty sure we've heard this somewhere before. <laughs> But enough about my problems. What can I help you with? Yeah, we're looking for an old Renan starship. You wouldn't happen to know any around these parts, would you? A starship? What do you need one of those for? To get to Lenegus. <laughs> Lenegus? Are you out of your damn mind? <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not, it wouldn't be the craziest thing we've done recently. <laughs> well, I believe it. Well, either way, I'm afraid I haven't heard anything about a starship. Then do you have any historical records by chance? Sure, we've got stacks of old records. Mind if we take a look at them? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Nath. I read through all of the records, but I only found a single line that might point to what we're looking for. 
It mentions a rock that shot across the sky and landed past the mountains. The event was recorded just before the first Renan invasion. And you think that might be the starship? I don't know. There was nothing else in the records that came even close. It looked like it was someplace called Berg, but maybe I'm reading it wrong. Berg? That ring any bells for you? Yeah, that's one of the biggest volcanoes in Calaglia. I was just there recently, investigating a report of a meteor someone saw. Mm -hmm. Another meteor in the same area? Really? I wonder if it could have been one of those lights that shot out of the wedge. All the more reason to check it out. Can you tell us how to get there? Oh, I try to this. The old Zion mine is up that way. One of the veins we abandoned connects to the volcano. Okay, don't Go ahead and use that. <laughs> but you should be careful. Huh? I don't know if it has anything to do with the meteor. There's a giant zoogle running riot in there. Never seen anything like it. A zoogle, huh? Well, I turned back as soon as I caught sight of the thing, so I can't tell you much more. Just be real careful if you head out that way. Hmm. If I really get or what? Oh, I didn't notice you here, Blazing Sword, and I see him. You are law, aren't you? The first kid. Damn, when did you get so tall? Can't believe a little pup pisky like you running around with the Blazing Sword himself. I'm sure that the old man would be proud. Right. Go on ahead with me. I will catch up later. You got it, boss. <laughs> See you around, Lord. Don't work too hard now. Do you know that guy? Can't say I do, even if I've met the guy before last time. I would see him, him would have been when I was really late. I could have at least said hello back to him. I'm the reason my dad's gone, remember? You know how much they looked up to him here, Lord. Hmm. Sorry for getting a sidetrack. Let's head. Oh. Hmm. Hey, is Lord doing okay? Not really. Death is, death is still working on him pretty hard. I can't, can't say I blame him. Even if it's not his fault, that's a big thing to have to carry on, to carry at his age. Right. Yeah, but he's trying his best to come to terms with it. I have faith he will pull through. <laughs> Good, he's gonna get need your support. He's still just a kid, and Zephyr is only the one at that. And Zephyr is only one at that. So. I didn't like the sound of that monster Nath was talking about one bit. Well, we have to press on. We're going through Zion Mine to Berg Volcano. Let's move. Ja, aber vor erstmal dir sketch und dann werde ich die Folge beenden. Oh. Everything okay with Hoodle, Renwell? He seems kind of out of spirits. It must be the heat getting to him. We don't get these kind of temperatures back in Cislodia. Galaglians born and raised here struggle with it too, so it's no surprise. Aha! So that's why his plumage is so white. He was born in a winter wonderland. Actually, Dan and Owls absorb the astral energy of whatever land they're raised in. Where they're born doesn't affect their appearance at all. But that's not why he's white. The real reason is that he's still just a baby. <laughs> you mean their plumage changes color depending on where they grow up? Weird. And with all this traveling we've been doing, it wouldn't surprise me if his wings ended up looking like a colorful painting. Oh, cool. I think he suits his snowy complexion. It'll feel strange to see him change. How awesome would it be if his head and wings were different colors? And his stomach <laughs> signs, like a map of our travels! <laughs> Oops. I'll lay off, will ya? So much for the heat making him docile! You've only yourself to blame for that one. Yep. Hoodle takes pride in his appearance, you know. <laughs> Fascinating. An appreciation of aesthetic beauty in an owlet so young. Uh-oh. <laughs> Dohalim, I think you've drawn his attention. <lacht> Gut. Aber wie gesagt, ich beende hier jetzt diese Folge. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.